Hey everyone, I'm Griffin Wiles, copy editor and paranormal enthusiast at The State News, and today we are going to be taking you on a tour through the creepiest, scariest, and supposedly haunted places in the West Circle of Michigan State's campus. So we're standing right in front of Gilchrist Hall, where there have been numerous reports of paranormal activity since the 90s. Let's go inside and take a look around. I would also just like to add that if you play that clip back and you watch the lamp behind me, it turns on mid-sentence when I'm talking about paranormal activity. In addition to the creepy tunnel-like system in the basement that connects the hall to Yakely, there have been several reports of paranormal activity in Gilchrist Hall dating back to the 90s. In one particular instance, a girl was awoken well after midnight by a series of loud pounding on her door. After she looked under the door to see if anyone was there, she was surprised to find that there was no one in front of the door, but the door kept being pounded on. Staff and police were alerted, and then the staff came up to her room to see that the door was, in fact, being pounded on by something that was not visible to the human eye. In fact, the whole door was rattling in its frame and the door handle was being turned back and forth as if someone was trying to enter her room, but no one was there. While Gilchrist Hall has its own tricks and treats, none of them compared to the haunting of Mary Mayo Hall, haunted by none other than Mary Mayo herself. Despite having never stepped in the hall named in her honor, Mary Mayo's presence has been felt throughout her new dwelling. There is a portrait of Mary Mayo in the main lobby that is rumored to follow you with her eyes wherever you go. There's also a piano in the lounge that students have reported ghosts tapping on the keys for. Several students have reported seeing a woman in the West Lounge that resembles Mary Mayo herself. Perhaps the most frightening corridor of Mary's Hall is the fourth floor, which is known as the Red Room. The Red Room is locked off to students, only staff can get in, and there's a piece of cardboard over the window so you can't even see in it. There have been reports of students getting into the Red Room and finding occult symbols written on the walls because the room was reportedly used for seances and satanic rituals when the building was first opened. There was also an alleged hanging on the fourth floor of Mayo Hall. If you're looking at the fourth floor from outside Mayo Hall, several students have reported seeing lights and figures from the windows that cannot be explained. 